Hey everyone, it's Thursday the 21st of March and it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Right, today's video. We're going to be looking at uh, some of my light bars and beacons in my little collection. Well, ever-grown collection I should say. Um, two things that inspired this. One, I've acquired another light bar for the collection and two, I was actually looking at all the light bars and beacons and things on the shelf in the bedroom and realised that they were very, very dusty. And then remembered that I actually haven't had anything off of that shelf in well over a year, so I thought I'd dust them down, perhaps fire some of them up over here and show some working. So, advanced warning, there will be a lot of flashing lights in this video, so it may not be suitable for those that may have epilepsy or other, you know, flashing light triggered um, seizures. I know what I'm trying to say. I'm not doing a very good job of it, but I know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, we'll talk about the new light bar that I've acquired first. Oh, there's a couple of uh, beacons as well that I almost forgot about until I looked down on the floor. I got those off eBay. So, my little chest of drawers there is going to be our little table. So, this bottom bar is the new one in the collection. It's a Wheel and Edge 9000 series. I can't remember the exact model number. Um, it is a Zen and Strobe bar. So we've got Zen and Strobes in at least all four corners. I don't know if the centre ones are. I think they're halogens. Anyway. I bought this from a chap on Facebook. He's a member of at least one of the Roadlamp um, Facebook groups I'm on. Um, and I've got a few other bits and bobs with this as well. This on the end here, item I got from him, which is the Wheel and Beta Siren. They call it an amplifier, but yeah, it's basically the Siren unit. You know, have all your wires going out to your selector switch, I suppose, to select between the different siren turns. I'm assuming that's power. Uh, I just realised it's just a PC Molex connector, it's the standard Molex connector. I suppose some of these would go out to your siren speaker or speakers, however many you've got. Which I don't have, and I am toying with the idea of buying one from the same guy. Um, I haven't had this powered up and doing anything yet. Um, I have just bought the receiver unit for this um, from the same guy and I may need the controller as well. I'm hoping there is a way that I can do it with just the receiver unit and uh, these wires because that's all we've got. We've got four wires. Well, I don't actually know if this particular one is a wire. There's no insulation on it, it's just like a steel wire going down this loom, so I don't know if it's put there just for a bit of reinforcement, or if it is actually connected to something. Um, or maybe I could get the light bar to do something with just those wires, because it turns out the power supply I was using, a PC power supply, didn't have quite enough oomph, so I've had to set up another one. We've got a 600 watt one down here, which... Um, does actually run this bar because the one I did have set up, this one, which I think is only a 300 watt. Yep, it just shut off as soon as you tried to uh, run anything. In fact, it would only run the rear end wigwags. That's why I've got this light bar backwards, by the way. I uh, think that is front facing, that one is front facing. Uh, yeah, so the general setup of this light bar is we've got white and blue either side, so we've got your white takedowns, your middle blue flashes, then you've got your corner strobes, which are sitting at that angle for more visibility, your alley lights on each end, and then you've obviously got your rear center strobes, and this part on the rear is basically the same, it's got the same blues, but it's got red rear flashes instead of, you know, the white takedowns. Which on this particular bar are LED modules. I don't know, being 2004, if that would have been original, or if that was a later addition, like an upgrade or something. 
I'm not sure, I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know much about these light bars. I don't really know anything about these light bars. Um, I do know, though, that you can still get the odd spare bit for them, which reminds me of the other thing that I bought with this. And it came in a lovely blue carrot case as well. I'll just have a look at this quickly. And there we go. Got a case of spare bits. If you want to know what the strobe modules look like on the end, there you go. Just plug and play. Because you don't change the actual strobe tube itself, you just change the whole unit when it fails. We've got other various spare sort of halogen bulbs and things. Uh, a few spare relays. I'm assuming these would be for the wigwag. You know, alternate flashes. I think that's what these would be for. We've got this little uh, Zenon module. Curly whirly one. And a few more various halogens. We've got two tiny little ones in here, and I don't know what they are. I'm just dinky little blobs. And it looked like this kit came with a screwdriver as well. Now, chances are I'm not going to need any of these because it's not like I'm going to be running that frequently. You know, it's just a bar for display purpose that I might turn on once in a while, but at least we've got some spares there and, you know, if I ever chose to get rid of this one at some point in the future, I could include a box of spares with it. Anyway, I think we should start firing up some of these. So, uh, again, flashing lights warning. Um, this has got multiple features on it, and I'll see if I can remember what wire does what on the back here. We've got the uh, wire, and actually, could I drape that over that way? I don't want them wires to short out on the ground. Right. Where's my other wire? There it is. Two black wires. The wire did, so I knew which one was connected to ground. I tied a knot in that one, so I know that one's the ground. Right, orange. I can't remember what orange does. That's the wigwag for the red rear flashes. Which actually lights the case up blue as well, because it's just halogens. Uh, this one is for one of the alley lights. Okay, so See, there should be two bulbs either side. And one of these had two bulbs, one had one bulb. And the only one that would light up on that other shitty power supply was the one that had the single halogen bulb in. Two halogen bulbs was just too much for it, so... Yeah. We've got a red with a black tracer, which is... would be your left side. Yeah, as this is rear-facing. Then we've got blue with a black tracer, which is your right side. Uh, green one should be the centerpiece, yep. And red is the rotators. We've got the extra mirrors in the middle bit there. Oh, I forgot to say that this bar is an RSG bar. That's all the features this has got. You don't need no, uh, technical computer or receiver or anything to run this one. Um, this is an RSG bar as well and they're pretty much exactly the same apart from obviously this one's the police spec and this one's the fire spec. Um, so as you can see the middle bit is slightly longer and the end caps are different. You see this has got the bit on for the alley lights, this one hasn't. Right, what I want to do is make a bit of space on the floor down here. So I don't want to put them on the shelf yet. The shelf itself is going to need a good dusting, so I'm just going to make a bit of room and just stack what I can down here. This is quite light as well. This wheel and edge, on the other hand, is bloody heavy.
I wish I had a vehicle or something that I could actually put these on. You know, that I could build a, a like a replica emergency vehicle. I'm trying to find out what sort of vehicles had these light bars on. Why am I taking that one off? I haven't demonstrated this one yet, have I? I'm getting ahead of myself now. Right. I've got a bit of a wire extension on this one. I'm going to take this off when I put it back on the shelf. Right. I hope the fan is still running. I'm going to connect blue to the ground. Now this should... Yep. And the rotators. Pretty much all it's got. There's two rotators again with the central triangular sort of shaped mirror in there to give the effect of uh, four rotators when there's only two. So one of the reasons I actually like these rotating light bars, I just like that visual effect. Oh, this one draws a bit of current though because these wires are getting hot. And of course, in the middle, I don't know if I've actually got this front facing or rear facing, we'll find out in a minute. switches off. I don't know why I've got to switch in it. Power supply is on, but you now the uh ah, there we go. Just bypass the switch. Oh so I've got it facing the rear. separate and short each other out. Even though all they would do is uh, shut the power supply off. Right, now that one I can't show. But I do have another one ready down on the floor. And I'll show you the two new beacons as well in a moment. This one's one of my favourite ones. I can't remember who made this one. Hang on a minute. It's a Premier Hazard. I remember seeing these used a lot on police cars around here. Um, I don't know, it's been in a cupboard with a closed door and it's got dust on it. Yeah, pretty little Premier Hazard twin rotator with a reflector in the middle. Uh, yeah, back in the 90s we had a lot of. Uh, Mark III Voxel Astras in the Norfolk Constabulary, they had these light bars on the roof. In fact, what we called the riot van actually had one as well, right in the middle. Oh, that riot van was a bag of shite. That was a transit. Well, we held on to that in the service for I don't know how long. Too bloody long in my opinion. Right, so, I'll just hold these wires together. It was quite noisy, but the wires are getting hot, they're not too hot. Okay, the positive was. <laughs> Do we think we used it? Oh, we had um, little Ford Escort hatchbacks as well. Sort of uh, Mark V Escorts that had these on. simple little light bar. These aren't belt driven either. The other two light bars I showed, they're belt driven for the uh, rotators. These are actually um, worm gear driven or direct drive, if you can see it in there. Which I think is better because you don't want to worry about belts wearing out. Now, I don't like that stacked up there. Right, I'm going to have to pause you for a minute while I... Uh, I'm going to get some more bars, and they're going to be more mini bars, like the one I just showed you. Oh, hang on. Correction. I'll show you these. So, these are one on eBay recently. Just um, Delta Design strobes. They are meant to be mounted on a vehicle that way, so they'd be facing in um, traffic, rather than on the roof like that. Um... 
and we have actually got two functions on these, it's not just a single function. Let's see if I can demonstrate it. So, we put our neutrals together, hopefully. Hopefully I've got enough there, just to twist it together. That one. It's only got to be there temporarily, hasn't it? Uh, right, so flashing lights again. There's one. I don't know how well it's going to show up at this angle though. Uh, there we go. So we've got alternate flash when you wire them up like that, but you've also got a green and yellow wire here. What I might do is actually is that going to sit like that? Nah. No. But uh, it's got the feature where if I connect the green and yellow wires together, you see that? They went straight into sync. So they flash in sync. And still flash and sync when I disconnect. Just for a little while though, and they'll start drifting out. And they're drifting out now, slowly. I prefer that. I don't like the sync flashing. Lovely um, click noise these make. Okay, these over here. Right, I'm going to pause you now. I'm going to grab a few more bangers in. Okay, next up we have got a mini bar from RSG and a Premier Hazard. Now the Premier Hazard is basically a direct copy of the Britax one. Um, you'll see when I bring the Britax one in in a little while what I mean. Uh, basically it's a carbon copy with a different name. This one's a mag mount one. It's got four magnets. But this one's a bolt-on. So I'm just going to dust it down. This one, yeah, it's on this side. We've got corner out of the uh, plastic base. The lens is fine. It's just a plastic base that's got a corner out of it. But I'm not fussed about that because I can put it on the shelf that way and you can't see it. So, let me just get these uh, dusted. Right. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to run this one for long because it is a bit of a uh, a bit power hungry and it will heat these wires up. Which I hate, but <laughs> what can you do? We might just get that to stay on there. You're not going to stay on there, are you? I accidentally touched these wires together and caused that to cut out. No, the bloody wires come out of here. I've got the power supply um, jumpered with a little bit of wire so it will turn on without being connected to a motherboard and the bloody wire keeps coming out. I knocked it with my foot. There we go. So let's try that, shall we? There we go. A little RSG. Having said that, these wires aren't getting that toasty. Well, at least ground isn't. Well, it's not too bad. Oh, I stand corrected. Right. So you've got your cigarette lighter connector on here, and your 12 volt socket. Quite noisy. 
I'm not sure which one I like best out of those. Right. I need to put the uh, Aris G1 on the floor first, I think. Which, um, I actually forgot, there's also a mag mount nut bolt. For some reason I thought that was magnet. But it's not. Pause again and then get some more through. I might actually bring more than just two through, so I've got a nice stack of them somewhere on the floor here. Right, I'm ready for the next four. I've got two more down here. That'll be it for the mini bars. Well, I say that, I've got one downstairs in the shed, but I'm not going all the way down to get that. So, this is another one from the fire service. These little ones would have likely have been used on like. Um, the station officer cars or fire chief, whatever you want to call them. Uh, especially the magnet. I don't know the manufacturer of this amber one. Uh, I don't know the manufacturer of this one either. Uh, this one's got a couple of minor issues. I mean, I'm missing all four screws, so I can do that. <laughs> Um, this one is missing the worm gear. It needs a worm gear. So I can't rotate that one. Right. Turn the supply back on. I thought I'd turn it off just to give it a little rest. Right, so I. Uh, only uh, one of these is going to spin and quite slowly this one's also a direct drive not a belt driven one yeah, so I would I would like to try and find. Um, screws should be a problem. I've probably got some little screws I can stick in there. Um, which I might do that before I put this one back up on the shelf actually. But I would like to find that worm gear. And actually it looks just like the worm gear in... Is it the Premier Hazard? Nope, the RSG. I wonder if this is an RSG because that setup looks exactly the same, actually. I don't know. Well, maybe I could find a, a broken one somewhere that I could steal a worm gear from. Or worm gear for something else, I don't know. Right, now, for some reason, the wiring for this one is individual for each side of the light. So I've got two reds coming out here. Now I bet I've just kicked that, yep, kick the damn thing again. Right, what I'll do, I'm just going to get that supply back on once I've got these wires connected. I keep knocking, I keep, my feet keep knocking that 24 pin plug. I'm just doing that trick with it. And that wire keep coming out, but I don't want to cut any of the wires on this. Kind of sit that there, maybe, where my feet are less likely to hit it. It's a nice bright one, isn't it? That one to me feels quite cheap. Like I said, I can't see a brand name on it. And that is very light. It's probably one of the lightest mini bars I've got. But it does work really well.
Okay. Right, let's stand this over here. Two more. These are both Britax bolt on bars. So you've got the big centre bolt there. Do you know what I mean? Between that and the Premier Hazard, if I just get the Premier Hazard one in again. Which is magnetic. Do you know what I mean? Not even that bit's exactly the same. Right. I've also got a bolt on the amber one. Which I actually can't show you because I haven't got any wires on this one. Um, I totally forgot about that. Well, what I can do is just give this one a dust down and we'll run the blue one then. See how good uh, Britax is. I do like Brit uh, Britax lamps. Beacons. Right. I'm trying to think that maybe maybe I should hang these cables up there somewhere rather than dropping them on the floor. Slow stand up. Hub. Mm. It's not getting that toasty either. Some of these beacons seem to. Uh, maybe it was because this hadn't been used for a while. It's sped up a little bit now. Right, now after this one, I've got one more large light bar, and then it's all the beacons. So, I will uh, get prepared for that. Didn't bust this one, did I? big light bar. Actually I might drag some of the beacons through here as well. Right, that took a lot longer than planned. Um, I went looking for three beacons that I couldn't find and I have actually found them now. Um, so I'm actually re-recording all of this section again because it's just easier. Anyway, um, the takedowns on the front of this, only one worked. And I actually thought it took a smaller, really obscure um, halogen bulbs. Um, this one came out of the RSG, um, RSG. I'm going to put it back in later. That is a good one. Um, this light bar does have these, but it's on the alley lights in here. And I've got two either side with a blue one in the middle. Blue um, LED module, one of these. Um, which I have noticed this light bar is actually a lot brighter without these on than it is with them on. But uh, the takedowns actually just use a normal one of these uh, 12 volt dichroic halogen bulbs. So I went to Roy's, Roy's department store, and just got a couple of Energizer LED ones to put in there. So I've actually upgraded it. I really don't know why these didn't have LED ones in the first place. Maybe these um, halogen LEDs hadn't been invented when, or developed when this was new. I don't know. Anyway, lenses have had a, a bit of a wash because they needed it. <laughs> Especially that one. They look, they look a bit better. Right, that's this side. So. Oh, I'm 
doing this side first. Awkward to get on. I'll just not pull the seal off as well. I don't think the seal really matters. Let's just pull it out of there and get that out of the way. Uh, and then I can just do that. Seal in where it's meant to be. Then I should just be able to get this to. See what the problem is. It's got to go up there. That's what will stop it. Right. Uh, that's got to come this way a little bit. Bloody see it now. That goes through there. That one goes through there. Then I do the same up the other end. And then I pop the screws back in. Ah, I found it. Good. But then we can now uh, have a look at this one running. Right. Three screws for this side. I need four screws for this side. I forgot. These, the plastic bit I put in there acts like a wall plug. It spreads out when you put the screw in. And it just kind of locks everything into place. So that you see a screw just goes around, it doesn't really do anything. actually found another LED bar which we'll have a look at as well. I forgot about that. It's an amber one. In fact most of the lights after this are amber. I don't actually have many blue single beacons. Four actually. So this is probably going to be the longest section in this video. Right, there's that side done so um, Switch this around, don't I? I don't want to switch. I don't want to switch it around just yet. And what we will do? Pop these plastic pegs out so we can get the lens to sit into place like that. I'll save putting the screws in until I have spun this round. Right, power. Power, we need the cable. There's the cable. Got plenty of them. Look at that lot. <laughs> uh, that's grand. I don't know what the white one does. That's like two wires and one. You've got the centre bit. And a bit on the outside. Keep knocking this wire. I don't want to cut the wires on this power supply. That's why I've been doing it this way. 
I wonder if I'd be better off with a solid core bit of wire in there. Right, got that sorted. This light bar, you'd have um, separate switches on a controller inside the car to operate each feature. Right, got it turned on. I've got to remember what one does what. <laughs> uh, red, I think, is all the blues. Yep. Actually, I tell you what, cleaning those lenses up has actually brightened that right up. So you've got two longer angled LED modules there. We've got one either side at the front, and we've got one in each end, which flashes with the second half of this large module. And that one. So that flashes front and rear blues. So what does the grey wire do? Grey wire is your rear reds. I'll show you those again when I've um, got this turned around. That's your takedowns. Well, that might be 35 watt or 4 watt in LED terms, but they're bright. <laughs> yeah. That's the centre light. That's right, I just hit the blue, the blue trigger wire. What's this one? That's just your rear blues. That's uh, that's the alley light this side. That's lit up. That's alley side left because that would be the left side of the bar. And that is front blues only. Which sometimes, especially at night, if the police are in a pursuit and they've got other officers following behind, they may turn the rear blues off and just have the front ones on. Because otherwise it can get a bit dazzling when you're uh, following. Yeah, I don't know what that wire does, it doesn't do anything. Right, I just want to show you the rear quickly, so I'll flip this around because I've got to put the screws in anyway. one's not really that heavy, it's just quite bulky and big. There we go. Right, let's just chuck them screws in so I don't lose them. Two in the centre here. At least if you needed to change the bulb in that centre piece, which again is just an ordinary 21 watt light bulb, that's not even an LED. Um, all you'd have to do is take out that screw, that screw, that screw, and either end, and you can pull out the middle bit. You wouldn't have to take both ends off. Okay, two more. I just wish I could get the um, wheeling going. But I tried again earlier and there's, there's nothing at all. A bit of a, a downer, but never mind. Still a nice bar. I'm sure I'll get it working one day. I just guess I need all the proper controller for it. I know there are um, certain bars out there that do need all the proper controllers. Right. Let's, uh, let's 
Get that set up. Uh, Grey was the rear reds, wasn't it? <coughs> They're LED modules as well. Now, if I can find it. There you go. And that would be the setup you'd have if you'd done a traffic stop on the carriage, dual carriageway or a motorway. Sometimes they just have the rear reds going, but sometimes they'll have the rear blues as well. So the front ones aren't on at the minute. And the really daft thing is, I can actually turn the front ones on as well. So how much the LEDs dimmed when I did that. I can't remember what the front blues are. Ha! A blue wire for the blue lights. Try to hold too many wires together. There's actually a nice bar. Right, I need to move that off there. And that cable out of the way. So I'll get the next light bar in. Well, I say light bar to mini light bar. I'm actually pretty certain that this light bar is lighter than that wheeling. Not by much, but it certainly feels lighter. Right. I'm start chasing me over tail in a minute. Here we go. Now this is an amber one. It's made by Reflex. And it is one where you can program different flash patterns into it. Um, it's also got two other wires underneath that. It's got a purple and a green, yeah, which aren't connected. Um, I don't know what the wiring is on this exactly, but I'm assuming that at least one of those wires might be to synchronise this up with another mini bar. So you could have like one at the front of your vehicle, one at the rear, and they'd flash in sync. Um, well, that would be my guess as to what one wire would be, and I don't know what the other one would be. Right, so. I've just got a piece of uh, standard electrical flex to extend it. Oh, it does remember the last flash pattern, that's the last one I set it to. So. You could either set the flash pattern you want like that and then just you know disregard that wire so it just has the same flash pattern every time we turn it on or you could get fancy and have a little momentary switch between this wire which I think is yellow on here uh, yep so you can just connect the yellow wire on that to a little momentary button you know just to press one and the power so whenever you do this, you can change your flash pattern, <laughs> whenever you wanted. Some of these look the same, but they're not. went through a couple of the same uh, things there. I don't mind that one. I don't think it looks right on a bar though, but I don't mind that one. I like that one. You've got a static. <laughs> I'm going to put it back on my favourite one. There we go. I'll leave it on that one. I suppose if I could find blue modules, I could uh, essentially, you know, 
turn this into a blue light bulb. I wouldn't mind a um, LED mini light bar because I haven't got one. I've got various amber ones and the only other LED light bar I've got is the big one that we just had a look at. All my other blue beacons and whatnot are either Zen strobes or um, rotators. Right, moving on. A beacon. I don't think this one work. I did drop this earlier, which might have uh, played a part in it. I don't know. I'm going to chuck a couple of beacons up here like this, and then I can go to London and check them out. Right. supply is still on, good. So this one is an RS beacon. I got this sent to me with a Lucas Acorn, that didn't work unfortunately. Um, well it kind of did. <laughs> Given its age I'm not surprised it didn't want to work to be fair to it, but uh, yeah anyway. Some guy sent me these, and I've got two of these. I've got one in the outside cupboard which I've been holding on to for um, another collector. Um, but then COVID hit and he just, I don't know if he's forgotten about it or what. <laughs> it's not very bright because that's a 24 volt bulb and not a 12 volt. Because there is a, like a jumper setting underneath that so you can set it for 12 or 24 volt. So I'm assuming for 12 volt you would put a 12 volt bulb in there instead of a 24 one. I suppose you could say that's direct drive. There's literally a spindle coming up from the motor in there. I don't know if you can see that. And it's just pressed again. It's like a rubber tyre, if you like, on the mirror bit. Right, like I said, I don't think this one works. There's a couple here that... There's one I know that don't work. Because I remember it not working. I know what the problem is. Yeah, that one's not going to... See, when I dropped it, I may have broken the um, Zenon tube in it. Yep, that one's That one be dead. I don't know if I can uh, get into that either. I'm going to start draping them cables over there. It's going to make life a lot of I've got to keep bending down on the floor. Right, this is a Britax. In fact, I've got a lot of Britax beacons, but I like Britax um, beacons. And there's one that I want to get my whole uh, um, hands on. A blue and an amber version, but they're like um, rotten horse poop. <laughs> I can't remember the model number off the top of my head, though. The beauty of this one is someone's put alligator clips on this one, so I'll just do that. And do that. Nice and bright, that's why I like Britax. And good reflectors on them. I haven't got a Dorman beacon either, I keep wanting to try and get one. The Dorman Traffy beacon. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm even doing myself here. Oh, Crocodile clips have their uses, but they're also a pain in the ass. Right. We've got one more up here. Yep. Just making sure, uh, trying not to clang anything together. Here we go. Another Britax. This one, I can actually see the model on this one. It's a 324. With an H1 bulb in it. We have quite a longer cable on it. I 
Did I? Yeah, it's pissing water. Get rid of that. That is uh, officially doing my head in. Right. Is this a bit of solid core wire? USB cable in here, that'll look for me in there. This is them. Knew I should have used uh, solid core wire in the first place. No, this one isn't solid core. It is stiff though. Let's uh, give this a bit of whirl and see if it stays in any better because. Jostling these wires about is getting annoying. Not unless I just I could just sit that up here, I suppose. Alrighty then. Green. It's a bit long. that one down as well as the surgeon. Right, let's, let's try this again, shall we? Oh yeah, I modified a uh, old Molex adapter so I could just plug these leads straight in. That one in there is quite a nice fit, actually. Let's try again. One there. Oh. Well, that was working earlier. <laughs> oh, and it is polarised as well. Okay, so I need a new um, H1 bulb in there. I think I might have one, but you can still get them, they're not that expensive, so yeah, it's a shame. Now it was literally working earlier and I only took it from there and put it down here, that's not been not dropped or anything. How peculiar! Right. LED. Xenon doesn't want to stay. Uh, I've got the Britax 394 series. I've got two of these, I've got another one of these down in the shed. I don't know how I ended up with two. I think I bought both at car boot sales and uh, I just forgot I already had one. Typically, oh no, I didn't. Might be able to do it this way. Yep. Positive connected, negative connected. There we go. That's one I got cheap at car boot sale. It was less than a tenner. Actually a nice LED beacon, that one. Uh, I don't know who make it though. There's no uh, manufacturer name on it. There's plenty of codes. Right. We have a good old Xenon. Seven, I should say. Ah, there we go. I extended the wire and uh, 
one of them has come off. It's done up in both because I've got two of these. <laughs> so I need to put positive there and negative there, and that's bloody bright. Well, once I've got two of these, got them on eBay from the same seller. I can't remember his um, eBay handle now. It's gone. Right. Like I said, a pair of them. I actually like the design of these as well. I don't know who they're made by though. more ambers because I know one doesn't work. We have got a bolt-on Britax which is model 370 series. And we have got a Delta Design strobe and I've got that one as well. I haven't done that one yet. Done. Getting ahead of myself. We've got another uh, LED here. Right, so let's hope that stays there. Look at this Britax. Oh. Uh. That one's quite dim. I don't think that's got the right bulb in that. It don't look too bad on camera, but that should be brighter than that. I know for a fact my other one is brighter than that. Right. Got a few blue ones to go in a minute. There we go. So that's what it should be like. <laughs> I really like that one. I just wish I had a vehicle or two that I could put some of these on. That's the uh, Delta design. Have we got these around the right way? No. I did exactly the same thing in the first take of this as well. There we go. A rapid flash that one, isn't it? And very bright. I'm pretty certain that was another car boot by most of these came from car boots except that one. Which came from Revol Response Vehicle Lighting. And the owner of this business is actually on the Barricade Lamp Collectors groups on Facebook. And he sent me that as a freebie after I uh, bought a bunch of light bars from him. That's where a lot of my blue ones came from. And the request was that I would um, include one for free if I gave him a shout out in the video. So that's what I did. I have to say, that is a nice beacon. I'm not that keen on LED beacons. I just think that some of them are just utter crap. But that one, assuming I got this several years ago, this one's actually a good one. I really like that one. the wrong cables now. Right, um, I'll just show you two beacons that I've got in here and I'll go and grab the other three. So not this one. I'll get that to stay there. Now, this is an eBay purchase. I got this a while back now. And the next one I'm going to show you is an eBay purchase as well. So, 
Works nicely. Not sure the brand. Oh, I just realised there was something that, um, written on the top of this. Hmm. I've seen beacons just like this one on top of Green Goddess fire appliances. <laughs> you can't see nothing on there when the light is off. I'll have to get a torch or something, I think. And this one actually came from an eBay. I've bought a number of uh, road lamps and whatnot from in the past. And in fact, it's the same eBay I got these Delta Design strobes from. Uh, Beast from the East is his eBay handle. So this is a header. This actually came with its box. Bit of a slower spin, but uh, got a good light output on it. Hella do a uh, amber version of this, and I still see them in use on trucks, and I want one. <laughs> it's just uh, difficult to find them for some reason. Let's have a look on eBay, see what I'm finding on that. Right, so two seconds, we'll grab the other three beacons. So, this one is a Lucas Acorn, which is actually a working one made from two, technically. Because I got the base, the bit I'm holding, from the same eBay I got that um, other blue beacon from. I'll show you in a minute. Because the original base I had didn't work. Yeah, I got it from the same eBay that uh, I got that from. He did have a blue Lucas Acorn, Acorn as well, but they go for a lot of money. Because people like to buy those not only for their collection, but to put on restored um, police cars and whatnot. The wire on this wiring on this Acorn is something to. Uh, be desired, it's not the best. Right. It works. One twist. Just one of these to go, it's a bit noisy, but I have still got the other base, because I think I know what the issue is with it, but just don't know how to fix it. It's got like um, you know like on a the old school points and condenser ignition system. It's got like a condenser in there and I bet that's gone. There you go. Just an ordinary 21 watt bulb in there that you'd find in your indicators. It's quite a noisy one, and I have to say, that is the heaviest one out of all the lamps I've got, and probably the oldest. But not as sought after as the blue ones. Right, this one. I got that last year at an auto jumble. Um, there's a pub not too far from here called the Skate and Goat, and they hold like a classic car and bike show every year. Um, and uh, they have an auto jumble there as well, and that's where I found this. It was actually a uh, American chap, because that's Whelan, which is an American company, I believe. And uh, I assume he just bought it back with it, or bought it over with him from the States. 
Now this, um, didn't flash properly. I think it might need, I might need to try and open it up and perhaps recap this. Is it going to do anything for us? Look at the horns around the right way. There's a good chance I haven't. Yeah, I was going to say, I heard it do something. And then it stops. And I can hear it making weird noises. So if I shut the power off to it. I'm not sure if it's a capacitor or if it's a a relay or something is sticking because if I just pulse the power like this it sometimes it'll start working again. There you go. And then it stops. Yeah. That's a magnetic one as well. That, uh, I, well it can be opened up. I'm not going to do that for a while yet though, because it will be a hell of a shock if I touch something in there that I shouldn't be touching. So I'm going to let that sit for a long time. Right, this one I got from Facebook Marketplace a few years ago. It was from um, a first responder. And the only reason he was selling it was because, you know, they just upgraded to LEDs and whatnot. It's a nice little uh, magnetic beacon. Um, Premier Hazard. I'm surprised it still works. I fell off of that top shelf. Thanks to Smudge, actually, when he was a baby. This uh, cable was dangling down the side and he jumped up at it. And it just didn't break anything, though. It didn't break the lens. Lens came unclipped. That was it. Just a, a little Premier Hazard magnetic beacon. Right, now I've got the arduous task of putting all of these back up on the shelf. I don't want to. I'm enjoying playing with these. So I might not do that until tomorrow. <laughs> There's no rush to put them back up there. Um, maybe I can actually fix a few. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this one. It's an LED one that I got off eBay from the same person I got the two um, identical Zenons from. This was working, but it's actually stopped, and I think I know why. Uh, there's a bit of damage on the cable there. Sometimes if I wiggled it and got it in just the right spot, I'd get a flash out of it. Do you know, this looks remarkably like... Lenses are different, but they're the same size. Is there someone copying Whelan by any chance? Because <laughs> I don't know who made this. Hang on. It just says LED strobe light. Yeah, I can't imagine Whelan would put something like that on it. Oh. The use of this beacon while in motion is at the sole discretion and risk of the user. Please read the information sheet supplied with this beacon or phone. Would something would weigh would I don't know would were <laughs> engineering limiters a big hole in the sticker. Two nine three. No, I can't read it properly. It's all a bit damaged. So model 015 12 to 24 volts, so that's a dual voltage as well. Right, I'm going to end the video here then. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. Um, maybe some of these, I would love to get that, the uh, wheel and edge, up and running. I just want to see it working. 
yeah. Anyway, I hope you found the video interesting. Um, if you did, please give the video a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. And uh, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel grow. It helps you follow the channel. It's totally free. Um, and whatnot. And if you want to, you can check the video description down below the video. Um, where I will put links to my other two YouTube channels. Maybe you're into your gaming. Maybe you like your Lego like I do. Um, there will also be links to my Discord server and my Twitch channel. So feel free to check all of those out if you'd like to. And uh, I will see you in the next video.